No, no, you're third. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Last, but, you know, the oh, usual please. statement. Not the least. <laughs> so where do I put my yes, this, In his case, maybe. Um, <laughs> <laughs> as he's oh. a friend. That's good. It'll be this screen, right? <laughs> Are these speakers connected? Or no, I have a video. I have I a video to so. show. Okay. Um, <clears throat> my name is Nick Lepress, and my paper is on technological unemployment as it relates to basic income. Um, very much enjoyed your presentation. Um, I'm going to say some things that are kind of in contrast to what you guys were talking about. So, and, and hopefully that'll open up a dialogue. Um, want to thank the BN conference for letting me speak here. I'm one of the few people don't have any letters after my name. So, and this is actually my first presentation. <coughs> my background is, um, I was working in Silicon Valley about 1998, 99. I picked up the Wall Street Journal, and I read this small little island nation had a GDP of three and a half trillion dollars. And the Wall Street Journal said, oh, that's 5% of the world income. And I went, oh, well, if I multiply that by 20, then that'll be all the money in the world. Comes out to about $70 trillion. That's the uh, GDP of the planet. There's 7 billion people, so it's an average of $10,000 or 7,000 euros a person. <clears throat> That's all the money in the world divided by all the people in the world. We in the fir first world keep most of that. The third world only sees about 5% of all the money. We keep the 2 billion people, us in the first world, um, but we don't distribute it evenly. And um, what is about to happen with the technology is that the level of improvement has now reached the point you want to um, we stand the fall. Yeah, it, 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 it's, um, it wasn't po possible ten years ago, it wasn't possible in the last five years, it's only in the last three or three years it's now possible to replace a $30,000 a year worker with a machine that will cost all $10,000 a year to run for the first two years, and after that the cost drops to about $600 a year, just a maintenance cost. So you're looking at, at a drop, $30,000 figures, minimum wage in the United States. It costs Walmart, any major company that is hiring a minimum wage worker, the cheapest that it costs per year is $30,000. The worker gets seven fifty, but the added cost, which is known as the load cost, is fifteen dollars an hour. So, so there's nothing cheaper. Um, now Amazon earlier this year just bought a company called Kiva Systems. One thousand Kiva robots cost twenty million dollars. They cost ten thousand dollars a year. That already is two thirds cheaper than than, than a worker. Um, at, it takes two years for it to pay for itself. The cost drops to 600. That is a 
in increase. And let me just, um, yeah, let, let, let me go back to Martin Luther King. Martin Luther King said, yeah, we've got to create full employment or we've got to create income. Um, with technological unemployment um, on its way, and it's going to happen very, very quickly because of the economics, um, there's not going to be full employment. That, that, that is not going to happen. Um, my thinking on unconditional basic income, it's never not worked. It has never not worked. You, you, you pick any place in the world where, where any form of basic income had been put in place, it has always worked. In Brazil, in the last, between 2003 and 2008, just that short period of time, the poverty rate dropped from 22% to 7%. Seven, seven years. So, so, can you stand on that? Yeah. Okay, fine. You can see. Yeah. 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 Okay. Right. Yeah, so, so, so in Brazil and in, 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 in the United States, Social Security is a basic income program. The, the, the only real problems he's ever had is, is they get the address wrong. Right? Yeah, there's, no, there's never been, so, so, so that's not even a question to debate or discuss. Um, and this is what I was talking about. We have a payback period. In the case of Walmart, Walmart has one million minimum wage workers. It costs them $30 billion a year. And that's money that comes into the economy. The workers trade their time for the money. The money gets spent in the economy. All of a sudden, they can cut out a million workers, and this this can happen. These machines, these Kiva machines, already exist, and, and they will work just as well in an Amazon warehouse as they will in a Walmart warehouse. So, so what what happens is we are going to see a concentration of wealth. Yeah, yeah. yeah Walmart something. By the way, it's not just going to be Walmart. IBM, IBM's got a machine called Watson. Last year, beat the most powerful humans. IBM already has plans, very public. Watson's going to be doing the work of doctors. He's going to be doing the work of lawyers and, and business analysts, MBAs. And as of right now, it actually makes no sense to pursue a graduate degree. You won't. You will not. You will not be able to pay back the loan if an 18-year-old starts college today. By the time they graduate graduate school in 2020 in the United States, they're, they're going to need an income of $200,000 a year. Those, jo those jobs will not exist in 2020. So, so they will not be able to pay their student loan by 2030. Um, and, and yeah, Walmart's not going to be the only one. It, 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 every, it, as soon as people see these profit margins, there's going to be a stampede for this. So, 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 so money, money, the economics is, is going to drive it. Now, if we figure it's half a percent a year of, of, of all workers, there's 750,000 jobs a year that get automated away. That's half of one percent, but in four years, there's seven million jobs on top of the jobs that we don't of the unemployment we have today. So, so we could we could see unemployment practically double. And, and, and like I said, yeah, it's not going to be blue collar jobs that go away. And, and what is going to happen? Here is we're going to see wealth concentration. Here, this is a chart from the 1940s. From 1945, worker wages, worker wages, in, 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 in corporate ownership were pretty much hand in hand. 1970, they decoupled. So wages stayed flat for the last 40 years, and, and, and as we've seen an increase in productivity and efficiency, all the money's been flowing to the top. Once the automation kicks in, this line goes straight up. Yeah, sorry, but you are in front of the picture, yeah. so it's possible. Yeah. yeah, well, well I'm, I'm actually right here. Yeah. This is, two, this is 2015. From this point on, this line goes straight up. So, 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 so the, the wealth is going to concentrate uh, at a level never seen before. Um, yeah, when, when, when workers are eliminated, the money only goes up. If there are no workers down here, all the money that comes in goes right to the executives, shareholders. So, and, and they're not going to give anything up. And, and so, <laughs> what we're going to have is the gap between the rich and the poor is going to be the eighth one of the world. Okay, that's that's courtesy of the onion. Um, so, so, so basically, the rule the rules have always been that uh, 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 we've got to earn by we've got to earn our bread by the sweat of our brow. 
Right? That, that has always been the rule. You, 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 if you want to eat, you want a roof over your head, you have to work. But now, but now sweat is being completely taken. Yeah, sweat is gone now. So, so, so then what? And, and, and this, this goes to some of the things you were talking about. <coughs> the, the job's going to be lost forever. The machine comes along, does it better and cheaper, and, and, and there won't be any exceptions to that. That's not the way capitalism works. Cap capitalism is, is about the profit margins. Okay, um, yeah, yeah, capitalism is about job elimination. I write about this in my paper. And, and to go back to Martin Luther King, it, it, it's either we have employment for human workers, then, then, then we've got to provide income. Now, now the question Joseph Stiglitz asks, when he's talking about the 1%, and, and he's asking, well, how do we make this worth their while? How, 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 how do they see it as something they want to do? <coughs> they're, 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 hey, hey, it's more for me, less for you. Right? So, so how is this to their benefit? And, and, and the answer is, make it worth their while. Basic income, what you were talking about? Yes, an investment. This is an investment. This is not charity. This is not giving money away. No, no, no. this is an investment. And it has a high rate of return. Now, Martin Luther King wanted to peg uh, basic income to median income. Not really practical. $50,000 a year, 200, 200 adults, that's $10 trillion. It's two-thirds of GDP. That's just way too much money. Even half that, 33% is almost reasonable, but there was an even better idea. Okay, brace yourselves. Um, first, first off, don't try to cover everybody at once. Face it in, do it in the steps. Nixon. President Richard Nixon had the right idea. In 1969, thank you, that's the reaction I wanted. In 1969, Richard, uh, a year after Martin Luther King got shot. Yeah, on the side. Yeah. Mm -hmm. a, a, year, a year, year after Martin, uh, Martin Luther King got shot, Nixon's uh, family assistance program wanted to give each American family for a cash stipend of $1,600 a year, $800 in food stamps. $2,400. And, and, and that, would, that almost became law. Um, at, at, at first, the House of Representatives sailed right through. It actually died in the committee. It was the Liberals in the Senate. They just said, no, 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 people got to, yeah, we can't just give people money. And it was actually the Liberals that killed it, not the Conservatives. Now, had it passed, Nixon would have signed it, and we would have had a basic income law in the United States in 1970, 42 years ago. Now, revisiting this is a... The uh, theme is a pathway to basic income. $2,400 a year is $15,000 a year, $2,012. That actually seems to be the right amount for this. And, and I'll explain why. Um, I call this the 7% solution. And, and any first world nation, it would cost just 5% of average GDP to provide each parent of a child under the age of 18 we're, we're, we're at the same monthly benefit, which is now $1,234 for American Social Security recipients. That, that works out to roughly $15,000 a year. Um, each parent, that, that number, yeah, there are 45 million American parents, and when you get that amount, that would be $700 billion a year. Now, here in Europe, we have, and, and that is 5% of GDP. Here, here in Europe, we have kindergarten. And, and were we to do a kindergarten program in the United States, that would be 2%. So 5% plus 2%, that's 7% of GDP, and that's $300 billion a year. And that's $1 trillion. <laughs> and that sounds like a lot of money, right? And, and it actually isn't. Um, okay, I'm almost done. For, for about 7% a year, 40% of the population would be covered. 25% of the population is children under the age of 18, and 15% are the parents. So, so, and this takes away questions of, well, well, well we're going to give this money to the homeless, we're going to give it to the undeserving, the, 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 the people that can't work. No, you start, you start with parents and children. This is, the, this is why I say Nixon had the best idea. Not, not a lot of room to argue there. And it's an investment. And it's an investment. It's not charity. 
you're, you're, making, you're making sure kids have food in their bellies, you can eliminate welfare, you can eliminate food stamps, and, and it's got a high rate of return. And, and, and that, that's pretty much all the ground I want to cover. There's more in my paper. Um, and, and I talk about strategy and tactics. Um, there, today, today's the first full day of Occupy Wall Street a year ago. We saw how much resistance they threw up. They just started with pepper spray. They're, and I think this was presented to the class of people that are actually that have the weaponry and pepper spray. Say, hey, look, it's in your best interest to do this because all that goes away. No more Occupy Wall Street. None of that. You, you eliminate social unrest for for a very low cost. And just to come back to the seven percent figure, it's actually closer to five percent. Actually, closer to two percent, which is all of. Wait, I have a problem. Yeah, it's all in two cents. For two cents a year, um, because this flows right back into the economy. It's paid on rent, food, clothing, electricity, right? So, so, so this is the investment, two cents. And um, that's pretty much most of the ground. Um, my paper's online. For those who want to read it, and I guess Q and A. Yep, we'll come back to it. Okay. okay. Um, Be strict on time, but I want us to have enough time for discussion afterwards. So, Andreas, uh, follow, and then we'll come back to the discussion. While I put my PowerPoint presentation, I have to apologize for my delay, but... Uh... You're Italian. <laughs> <laughs> I wake up this morning at 8 o'clock to be on time. Yeah. But, uh, I mistake the train and I took the S3 instead of the S7. Probably I was still sleeping and that's the result. Yeah, as we say, you're a If I could know the future, I will probably I will sleep till 9 o'clock. <coughs> I should tell you that uh, Andrea, while he's preparing, he's our regional uh, person for Europe. So everybody who wants to be linking up with national networks and establishing networks, he's your man to, to get in contact. Thank you. More work for him. <laughs> Just a lot of work. <laughs> Sometimes I think that the people that is in favor of basic income is the people that works more than the average and yeah, the people that is against it is because they don't need it because <laughs> they're willing to work. It's a privilege. Okay. Uh, I, I, I thank uh, the two previous speakers. Sorry. Just a suggestion about the screen. Maybe if you moved...